He's on his way. I called him. I don't know who this little one is. He has no markings. Good morning, Buck. Good morning, my big boy. Mommy, he's calling you. You're looking? Yeah, he's licking his mouth. He knows the goodies are coming. You know the goodies are coming? Yeah. I got the mixed nuts for him. It's like all the good ones. I stopped buying him the salted ones because I've been doing a lot of research and too much salt for deers is actually not good. That's why my husband said even if I was to buy him a salt block to not get like a big, 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 gigantic one because he's one deer, you know, using it, it's going to be too much salt intake. Right? Oh my God, you got flies on your face, baby. Oh, Buck, let me get those flies off your face. He has flies on his face, guys. Hold on. Wait, Buck, wait. I'm going to rub the spray on his face now. Hold on, guys. Come here. Come here. Let me get those flies off your face. Okay. okay, let me get the flies off. And I rubbed the spray on his face just now. Okay, that will help your face so they stay away from you. Yeah, so many little flies on your face. And I see one more that I have to take off. It's bothering me. Hold on, guys. I feel bad that I have to take the peanuts away again. Let me get it off. Come here. No, come here. Come here. Okay, no more. Come here. Come here, no more. I won't bother you, I promise. Look, you had like two flies on your face. They were like little gnats, like just... So I just rubbed the spray on his face. That should help his face now. And you dropped some goodies, some peanuts on the floor. Okay, let's get the apples. Hold on, guys. I'm grabbing his apples. I filled up his water bucket already, the corn bucket, everything is good. Cleaned it. Okay. And there's a bird screaming. I don't know why. Look, why are they screaming? And I had a little net next to me. Get away. I don't understand. It's not that hot out right now. Why is there like these little gnats, these little bugs? Right, Buck? Why are these little bugs? Yeah. I want to get him closer so I could clean his face again. Good boy. He's such a good boy. Yeah, you see, he has no more flies on his face. He had a whole bunch of black flies on the side of his cheek. What, you want to eat on your own? All right. I'm going to clean your face while you eat on your own. But he's backing up. <laughs> My baby. Mommy's definitely got to spray you today. I know you're going to get mad, Buck, but I have to spray you today. You have to get sprayed. Because I can see that today is going to be a buggy type of day. And he wants to eat on his own. You want to eat on your own today? I might put the apples in the corn bucket so I can spray him while, like, you know, while he's eating. Yeah, you see, the flies are bothering him right now. Come here, it's okay. Come here, Buck. It's okay, there's nobody over there. Come here. Come here, you want apples? Let's put in your corn bucket. Okay. All right, guys, hold on. Let me get the spray. I gotta take the spray off a of stream. Well, actually, I put it on stream, and what I like to do is like throw it in the air and make it like just fall on him. Hold on, I'm doing it right now. It's like I make it rain on him so he gets it on his body. Oh, I smell it. Okay, that's it. I got him pretty good. What I do is I throw it and spray it in the air and make it just like fall on him. Because if I spray directly at him, he'll get mad. So I got him pretty good. All right, I don't see him twitching, twitching his tail so much, but now it's his legs, damn it. Hold on, guys. I gotta try to get the ones by his legs. Let's see if he'll make me do it. <laughs> Let me start from here, hold on. Okay, I'm spraying his legs. Okay, no more, no more. I won't bother you no more. You see, he gets mad and then he stops eating. No more, I'll leave you alone. I just feel like it's the easiest way for me to spray him is while he's eating. Because if I do it while he's hanging out, like let's say he's done eating and I do it while he's standing over there, he just walks away. Did you eat all your apples? Oh, you did. Yeah, I'll throw some more corn for the squirrels because I know you buck. You're not going to eat all this corn. Okay. You're okay. You're okay, big boy. Come here. You want mommy to scratch you? Come here. 
Mommy will give you scratches. He's going back by the corn now. He was like, all right, my mom is leaving me alone. I know, freaking bugs. They won't leave you alone, baby, I know. I'm gonna have to spray him. Get it in if he gets mad. I feel bad, Buck, but this will help you. Okay, no more, no more. I sprayed him pretty good, but you see he's by his legs. I know, baby, I know, they're annoying. I, that's why I can't wait for the fall, Buck. Right, we can't wait for the fall. Once the weather starts getting a little colder, some of these gnats and bugs will die down. Because I remember last year in the fall, you know, me or him, we didn't go through like having like so many gnats and flies flying around us and stuff. I remember I was just hanging out by the spot. It was nice. It wasn't so many bugs. Like there was still bees out in the fall, but it wasn't bad. Like, you know, with the bugs, like with the mosquitoes. I don't mind bees, honestly. As long as there's no bee nest around me, if there's like one or two bees flying around me, I notice if you stay calm, the bees go away. Like, you know, they'll fly away. They won't bother you. But the minute you start swinging and start going, oh my God, then they start bothering you. You see, I see a freaking fly by his leg. But you won't make me spray you because then you get mad when I spray you. I know, baby, come here. Come here. And mommy give you scratches. Maybe I could try to like shoot them away from you. He must've been laying down because I see a piece of dirt on his side of his belly. Come here, let mommy clean you. Let mommy clean you, baby. Yeah, I see the flies by his leg. I know. Oh, it's a horse fly. Come here. I see it. Come here, Buck. Mommy, I'll help you if you come here. I want to come close because usually the horse flies, I'm able to like shoot them away and they'll leave him alone if he stays next to me. But if he stays that far, I can't help him. Come here. Let's see if I can spray him while he's doing that. Hold on, guys. Oh, wait, no. He's turning. He's kind of like side eyeing me right now while he's. <laughs> okay, I try to spray him a little bit. It's raining, Buck. That was rain. That's the rain. It's raining. <laughs> I'll try to make him pretend it's raining. <laughs> I get his legs because it streams. Okay. I think I got you pretty good. I think I got you pretty good, big boy. Oh, good. He's not leaving. Okay, good. So he made me spray because I sprayed his legs. Because I have this spray bottle on stream. So it literally shoots like a stream. Because if you just put it on regular spray, it just like, I don't know. I feel like it won't, I can't aim then where the bugs are on him or something to like help him. Let me see if I could get the fly off. Let me see if there's flies on him. Hi, right, my big boy. How you doing this morning? Oh, the horse fly is on his face. Come here. Come here. Let mommy take it. Okay. Let mommy take all the bugs off of you. Okay. Good boy. I love you, Buck. You're such a good boy. I took the horse fly off of him and a little fly that was like right by his eye. You're such a good boy. You really are. He makes me do like whatever I want to him. Like he's such a good boy. The only thing I wish he would make me do, which I'm sure maybe one day if he's on my side, I'll try like when he's not in rut or when maybe after he loses the antlers, I want to give him a big hug. Like I want to hug him. I don't know if deers like to be hug, hugged. <laughs> I gotta Google it and see if there's like deers that actually let people hug them. Cause if there is, that's my next goal. Is like, I would love to give him a big hug. Right? I would love to give you a big, big hug, Buck, and just like, oh, squeeze him. <laughs> I love you, big boy. You're looking good. Just today, this morning, it's a little, I didn't think it was gonna be so many bugs out, like with the mosquitoes and stuff, because it's not warm out right now. I'm actually, I have a long sleeve shirt, and you, you know, guys know that I put a long sleeve shirt so I don't get bit, but like, I'm comfortable. I'm not, I don't feel hot. Sometimes I feel hot, even though I have like a light sweater on. I'm like, damn, it's so, like, I feel hot. But I don't want to take it off because I don't want to get mosquito bites. But it's not even that warm out. i tell you, this year with the mosquitoes and the bugs, forget about it. And those lan lantern flies, those that they said they're invasive. Oh my God, I started seeing them a while ago. Not here, but in my yard. And I told my husband, I was like, damn, man. Like, this year is a lot of everything.
Oh, my big boy. Well, I'm so, and I'm so happy in one way, like to go to my sister's house because I can't wait to buy him treats because the Walmart by my sister's house, they sell like a whole bunch of deer treats. Like, you know, they sell deer corn, the deer pellets, salt, blo salt licks, blocks. Um, they even sell like some pineapple, no, apple crushed acorn thingy. Like it's like a big block, like a treat thing, which I'm not going to get him that because I got him that two years ago and he did not even touch it at all. But I definitely want to get him deer pellets because I heard they have deer pellets that some people mix with the corn and it's supposed to be healthier for them. So I'm learning, you know, guys, I'm learning. Listen, every year I'm learning new and more new things about Buck. It just, you know, it's not overnight. <laughs> like now, like this year, I picked up more on his personality. Like I like I figure it out, his personality, like when he's scared, when he's mad, when he's like anxious when he's nervous when he's happy like i picked up just by his movements like i i know it all now with that like i'm good with that but like with the deer food like i know like you know fruits and veggies a lot of people tell me deer corn is not good for them but i'm like i see so many people giving deer deer corn so why do people like i don't know like i look at it like i guess i like to give him deer corn because i feel like it's a snack where i could put it if i'm not around and he could just come and have something to like munch on but I'm gonna pick up deer pellets. I heard they're called deer pellets. They have like minerals and vitamins inside of them. It looks like dog food. Some people give it to the deers just straight up like that, but I'm gonna mix it with his corn and make his corn more exciting. So I'm gonna do that this weekend, which I'm excited about. But then I'm gonna be sad because I know like, you know, I'm not gonna see him for like three days, but I know it's not the end of the world. I know he'll still be here, but I am gonna miss him. Oh, but I definitely will be making videos while i'm over there and i'll show you guys the deers that come to my sister's house oh they're so cute it's mostly females but my sister said the males barely like you know walk up to the people over there which i told my sister i said i don't blame them because you know over there and where my sister lives it's a big hunting like you know a lot of people hunt over there so the males are not stupid you know they're probably like uh-uh like I'm not gonna go up to people. Like, what if they try to take us down? Only the females go up to the people over there where my sister lives. And I told my sister, I said, males, they're not like the females. Like the female deers by my sister's house, anybody could hold a hand with food, like anything, like fruits, leftover, whatever you want to feed the deer. Anybody, like I could even go there. When I go there, I could feed any deer I want, and deers will walk up to me, like the females. They'll walk right up to me and make me hand feed them. I told my sister, this one is not like that. Like anybody, if a stranger has an apple or something in their hand and they try to go up to Buck, Buck will not go up to them because they have food. He does not see, like, you know, he doesn't see it that way. He don't care about that. I should have recorded yesterday because yesterday my husband, we, Buck was hanging out around three o'clock. He was hanging out over here right below the hill and I spotted him and I ran inside. I told my husband, I was like, you know what? I'll give him an extra snack today. I'm going to go run in and get him strawberries. So I went in to go get him strawberries. I got him a few. And I tried to get him to come up the hill. My husband was standing literally right here. And I was standing here. And I was calling him. And he was literally right below the hill. He would not walk up to the hill unless my husband backed up. Once my husband backed up and walked, like, literally onto the, like, the tar, the tar part of the street. Like, you know, a driveway, whatever. Then once you see my husband like got away from this area right here, that my husband wasn't standing here no more, that's when he w started walking up the hill. So like, you know what I mean? Like no matter if you try to offer, like people think, oh, like, yeah, you know, you're feeding that deer. He's gonna go up to anybody that tries to feed him and he's gonna get hunted. No, I'm telling you, I could prove it literally with a video one day with my husband to show you guys, like, you know, that he won't just go up to anybody because they have food in their hand and they're offering him food. He's very different. He's very, very different from a lot of deers. I swear. Even my husband was like telling his brothers one time because one of his brothers has said that like, oh, he'll probably go up to anybody and get hunted. And my husband was like, no, no, you're wrong. My husband's like, I can't even go next to him. Even if I have food in my hand, he won't allow me to go next to him. Even if like he only wants my wife <laughs> my husband's like he only go will go next to my wife and that's it he only trusts my wife and it's true but now they you know i've showed them so many videos of buck 
and they see how Buck comes up to the spa when nobody's around and stuff and the way I talk to him. So they're like, wow, like, yeah, you know, he really truly does only like love you and like trust you. I said he does, right? You're my big boy and you're such a good boy, right? You're such a good boy. Oh, see, I don't see no more flies by your face since I, I rubbed it. Because I rubbed, I sprayed the spray on my hand. Remember when I was feeding him the apples? And that's when I rubbed it all over his side of his face and on that side. So at least now he has no more flies. Yeah, you see, now his face is nice and clean. Oh, fuck, I was going to zoom in to show everybody. You must have a dry scalp there. Unless he was rubbing, when he was laying down, he was rubbing against a tree or something. that Because he didn't have no white powder. He has like white looking powder on his back right now. And I did not see that yesterday. So what did you rub yourself against, huh, big boy? I'm sure if it rains, he'll get a nice cleanup. Right, you get a nice mini bath once it rains. And the house next door is doing work again. There's a noise. The buck is pretty good now. I think he gets it that, you know, it's not close by. Oh my god, look, the chickmunks are back. And that's another thing, too. A while ago, when I had the ratatouilles coming by, the, I wonder if the chickmunks stopped coming because of them. Because I haven't seen any, like, rats running around. And now the chickmunks are starting to come back. So crazy. I'm not going to lie, we do keep a box for the rats. Because that's one thing we don't want around here is rats, you know? So I don't know if this box helped. <laughs> but... The, I'm starting to see the chickmunks again, which is a good thing because I stopped seeing them for a while and it was kind of getting me like worried like what happened to all the chickmunks and now I see all of them coming back. You're cleaning yourself, big boy. I can see his dark hair growing in. Like he has like all dark spots. Like you can tell it's dark hair. His legs are still light. Oh, that's Rocky right there. That squirrel, that's right there. Hi, Rocky. Hi, Rocky. Because I see in the scar. Hi, Rocky. You're here too? Rocky's probably going to go collect any peanuts that Buck forgot to eat on that side. Unless the chickmunk already cleaned it out. Alvin probably grabbed it all. Oh, he's collecting the corn. <laughs> so some of the little ones are here. I know, baby. It's noisy this morning, right? I know. It's noisy. It's okay. You want the tree? Yeah. When he looks at this tree, sometimes he wants me to do this. You want this? Oh, no. I can't hold it too long. No? Oh, yeah. You want this? You want it? Let me see if I can break off a branch and give it to you. Here. Ah, this is so hard. He usually likes eating the leaves from here. I'll trim it. Hold on, Buck. Okay, yeah. See? And this tree smells so good. Here, baby. I took a piece for you. You want it yourself? Hey, you can eat it on your own. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, he wants to be a big boy and eat everything on his own, which is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Right, Buck? It's a good thing. You're supposed to eat things on your own. Mommy just likes feeding you. <laughs> that squirrel got scared. Is that Rocky? You got scared, Rocky? It's okay. The squirrels, they're still, like, not so sure about Buck. I guess because he's, you know, he's a big animal. So imagine being a little squirrel and you're on the floor and you're seeing that big thing walking by. I'm sure that's why. <laughs> but they don't understand he's, like, a big gentle giant. I mean, not with the raccoons, but with the squirrels and the chickmunks and the rabbits. Buck is good. Like, he actually treats them really nice cute like he's really good with them for some reason with the raccoons no he will not like he doesn't really he's not too crazy about them around him or me so buck has his preference of what animals he wants to be around you know all right guys i'm gonna get going 
I mean, this was a good morning. Buck, where are you going? He's probably going to take a walk now, like close by over there, forge, and he's going to come back because that's what he does in the morning. Every morning he does that. So I will be back later this evening with another video. Oh, that's Lucky. Hi, Lucky. I could tell because of the back of his neck. Hi, Lucky. You're eating the corn? I threw peanuts, unless the peanuts are all gone already. And Buck is still over there. He'll be back over here. But I will be back later this evening. I hope everybody has a great day. Today by my house, I mean by my house, my weather is supposed to be cloudy. It's supposed to be like a cloudy day all day. So, but no rain in the forecast, which, you know, that's a good thing. Because at least then I could come outside. Or even if it rains, I don't care as long as it doesn't rain on his dinner time. <laughs> but it's okay. I will be back later. I hope everybody has a great day. And me and big boy Buck. We'll be back for dinner time. Ciao for now.